Russia's foreign minister has accused the United States of militarizing the Asia-Pacific region. missile defense systems into South Korea and Japan in response to the threats posed by North Korea. The commanding general of U.S. Army Space and Missile Defense Command and Army Forces Strategic Command, Lieutenant General James Dickinson, visited the THAAD, or Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System on Guam as part of his battlefield circulation in the Pacific. The THAAD is a land-based, globally and rapidly deployable ballistic missile defense system with the capability to intercept and destroy ballistic missiles during their final or terminal phase of flight. I'll tell you, I've got great confidence in the weapon system. I've got great confidence in the soldiers who operate that weapon system. The weapon system itself uh, has gone 15 for 15 in all the missile defense tests that it has executed over the last 15, 12 to 15 years. And it has defeated everything from a short range ballistic missile to an intermediate range ballistic missile. Approximately 250 personnel make up Task Force Talon, a team consisting of deployed soldiers coming from Hawaii and Fort Bliss, Texas, as well as other U.S. Army Pacific units, all working together as one cohesive team to protect Guam day and night. Oh, I'd just like to add that I'm very proud of the soldiers that are here performing this mission 24-7, 365, not only in the defense of Guam, but all the air and missile defenders we have around the world doing the same type of mission. The Department of Defense first deployed the THAAD system to Guam in April 2013 to strengthen the U.S. regional defense posture. At a joint press briefing with his Japanese counterpart in Moscow on Friday, Sergei Lavrov voiced concerns that the U.S. and South Korea conducted a military drill in mid-October without prior notice. The massive joint military drills between South Korea and the U.S., the first of their kind with all three U.S. carrier groups taking part, came to a closure on Tuesday. And we now have some rare footage, close-ups of the exercises from the USS Ronald Reagan. The USS Nimitz, Ronald Reagan and Theodore Roosevelt. These three U.S. aircraft carriers took part in a four-day joint exercise in the Western Pacific, marking the first time in a decade all three carrier strike groups have taken part in a drill in the region. South Korea and the U.S. navies are fully prepared for conducting combined operations anytime, anywhere. We'll deter our enemies' provocations based on the strong alliance between South Korea and the United States. Rare images of the actual drill on the USS Ronald Reagan showed an organized frenzy on board, with F-18 Super Hornet jet fighters taking off from a deck the size of three soccer fields, as well as an E-2 Hawkeye, a tactical airborne early warning aircraft. The aircraft carrier conducted drills some 90 kilometers south of the northern limit line, the disputed maritime demarcation line between South and North Korea. This comes on the heels of U.S. President Donald Trump's visit to Seoul and Beijing as part of his Asia tour, where he confirmed with South Korean President Moon Jae-in that he would increase the deployment of U.S. military assets around the Korean peninsula to up the pressure on North Korea. And announced additional sanctions on North Korean companies as if waiting to pounce militarily if Pyongyang provoked them. He reiterated Moscow's stance that North Korea should not be used as an excuse for military expansionism in Northeast Asia. The U.S. military has a huge footprint across Southeast Asia and the Pacific, particularly in Japan and South Korea. There are more U.S. military personnel serving in Japan than in any other country. According to Department of Defense data, 39,345 troops are stationed across 112 bases, a hangover from the Second World War when American forces occupied Japan. In April the U.S. Air Force lined up dozens of helicopters, tactical fighter jets and surveillance planes on the runway at Kadena Air Base in Japan as a show of force aimed at North Korea. On Tuesday, 
Japan conducted joint air drills with two US B-1B Lancers capable of carrying nuclear bombs near the Korean Peninsula. U.S. troops in Japan are mostly based on the subtropical island of Okinawa, roughly 400 miles, 640 kilometers, south of the rest of Japan. Headquartered in Japan, the 7th Fleet is the largest of the U.S. Navy's deployed sea forces, with roughly 50-70 ships and submarines, 140 aircraft and approximately 20,000 sailors across the Indian Ocean and the Pacific. The USS Ronald Reagan, a nuclear-powered aircraft supercarrier, is permanently deployed at Yokosuka, Japan, as the fleet's flagship carrier. The fleet also includes up to 14 destroyers and cruisers at any given time, some armed with ballistic missile interceptors, long-range Tomahawk land attack missiles and anti-aircraft missiles. Up to 12 nuclear-powered submarines are also available. Germany, with 34,805 troops, South Korea is the third largest host of U.S. military forces, with 23,468 people on duty at 83 sites. More than 300 tanks, including the powerful M1 Abrams, and armored vehicles are stationed there, set up as a bulwark against North Korea in 1957 after a three-year war, the United States forced Korea, USFK says its mission is to deter aggression and, if necessary, defend the Republic of Korea. In April the U.S. installed a Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, or THAAD, in the country with the purpose of using interceptor missiles to destroy incoming missiles in mid-flight. All eyes are on Guam, a U.S. territory in the western Pacific Ocean run by an elected governor. The 210 square mile, 544 square kilometers, island, which had an estimated population of around 162,000 in 2015, is about 2,100 miles from Pyongyang. There are 3,831 military personnel on Guam and much of the land is controlled by the armed forces, including the Anderson Air Force Base, which hosts B-52 bombers and fighter jets. The island is reportedly referred to by U.S. commanders as a permanent aircraft carrier. The U.S. maintains a smaller presence across Southeast Asian states, including in five bases across the Philippines where U.S. troops have been allowed to station themselves. The U.S. Navy also plans to operate four warships out of Singapore by next year. Thailand has allowed U.S. military aircraft to use its runways. There are nearly 40,000 military personnel in Hawaii, the closest U.S. state to the Korean Peninsula. It is the headquarters for the United States Pacific Command, which covers about half the Earth's surface, including the entire Asia-Pacific region. Its mandate includes roughly 375,000 U.S. military and civilian personnel, 200 ships and more than 1,000 aircraft.